disgusting. Okay. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying on and reviewing some bathing suits from Zaful or Zaful. I think. I don't know how you pronounce it, but from that website, it's been all over YouTube before. Their prices aren't extremely lowball cheap, but you do get what you pay for. On their site, it's not very likely that the prices will stay the same. They always have sales going on and always changing prices for whatever reason. So the prices that may be shown in this video might not be the same if you were to look on it online right now. But in general, their swimsuits are pretty cheap. I have nine of them, which is kind of a lot, and it's kind of hard not to purchase all of them because the way that they show it on their site makes it look really appealing. I'm going to say that I straight up did not pay very much for it and I paid for all of it myself so none was sent to me or anything. I know that there are a lot of strange people that can be on the internet and putting my body out there isn't something that all people are comfortable with or that all people do but I am truly just trying on these swimsuits to show how they fit and how well the quality is. That's all I'm doing. So without further ado, I'm gonna try on all nine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the red bathing suits first. I think that red is a really flattering color for all people to wear. It's actually my favorite color, so. I bought three red bathing suits. The first one that I am going to show is the soft pad spaghetti straps. This one is the soft pad bikini set. The padding in this one, you can already tell that there's not very much of a cup here. So if you're heavier, I guess, on the top, then it probably won't fit so well. This one has a clamp on the end, but this can undo sometimes, especially if you're thinner around your waist. This one is a pretty good quality. The only cons that I would say about this bathing suit is that the white can probably peek out and it'll be obvious when you're wearing it. These are the bottoms. They are quite cheeky and most of their bathing suits are quite cheeky so just watch which ones you buy and this one's also a nice material. This one's luckily red on the inside too so the white wouldn't peek out as much. This one is a size small. You should look at reviews before you make your purchase because sometimes they can run small or run large. For this one I think they did run a little bit small. This type of bathing suit actually wouldn't give you so much coverage like all around on the bottom part so be careful for that. I'm going to pop my glasses so I can see. This one's a nice bathing suit too. I can kind of see the circular padding. I do see it at some angles but I don't mind about it. Sometimes that this white lining can show though. It's very showy on the bottoms and runs quite low down here as well as down in that area so be careful with this bathing suit. Um, it's really pretty though. This one fits quite well. To help hide the white lines back here, tighten your straps so then it's is more against your chest. But this one's very flattering and it looks very nice. So for these, I would just replace these bottoms because they can be a little bit showy. Or if you are full on the top, then size up for this one. This one's really pretty though. And then the other red bathing suit is it's just called a padding bikini set. And this one wasn't as good. This one has more modest bottoms though. This one I got in a size medium because the bottoms would run small. The bottoms actually fit very well, but the top actually is not that secure. This one has a hook, not a clamp. This one doesn't fit very tightly around my waist. And I think it kind of looks strange. On some of these bathing suits, they have this material in the back. This bathing suit also has padding, but on most of their bathing suits they have this material on the back and it's not the greatest quality. It's kind of cheap, doesn't really feel like swimsuit material, but it still works. For these bottoms though, they are pretty tight fitting and kind of thin, but you can kind of see like the outlines of anything that goes on down there. Out of the red ones that I got, this one's my least favorite. It's just a little bit strange. It doesn't fit so tightly around my waist. It is pretty, just the sizing on this is a little bit strange. The bottoms, these are size medium and most of them I got were in a small. The bottoms are nice, um, they just squeeze a little bit, just a tad bit. This is just too loose around here. It looks strange in the back because the straps are pulled up so tightly, but this one isn't just the best fit. The last red bathing suit I got was a plunged bikini. Pretty good quality. It has very thick straps. This one is probably the most modest out of all of the bathing suits. This one has the swimsuit material on both inside and the outside, so that's good. Um, a small pattern, and this one also has clamps in the back, which can always be undone. You just have to be careful. So this one is really pretty. This is also in a size small. This one covers a lot more of your butt. If you're looking for more of a family-friendly swimsuit, then you should get this one. 
These ones are a nice fit. They are the more modest ones and they also cover more on the top. These ones fit very well. The quality is very nice on this one. So if you were iffy on any of the bathing suits, I'd recommend getting this one. Oh my gosh, my knees hurt so bad. Um, okay. okay, I'm sorry. I had to move because my knees were hurting. <laughs> the next bathing suit I got is black. This is also in a size small. This one is a high cut cross bikini. It does have a clamp. Bathing suits like this can be really confusing to get on because, you know, it crosses in the back. This one is nice fitting. It fits nice. This one also has black on the inside and outside. This one's cute and actually fits. The squares might seem small when you first put it on. Squares, why did I say squares? They are a little bit small. I don't have very much weight up here, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. Bottoms are also kind of a thong like, but not really. And this material also feels nice. So this one is nice bathing suit. It's a little bit small up here. This one doesn't have any white inside lining or anything. Their packages come in these like ziplock things. This one is a bandeau set. Oh shoot, it has a tag. Did I just say bandeau? Oh my God. A bandeau set and this one has a knot in the front which is kind of weird. You can't really, it also has these strings on the bottom. I don't really know what they were going for. Kind of looks weird. It's nice and tight fitting and also padded so that's nice. The strings don't show so you can just tuck them up but it's still cute and nice. So bottoms are similar to the last ones. These ones have different stitches on them. The other ones, there was only one stitch, but this one has two. And these ones are also a little bit more modest. This one's quite small on the top. It's nicely on the top though and on the bottom, so I wouldn't worry about it falling off. So you just like tuck that up. But there really is no point in this knot right here. It kind of just gets overseen. Bottoms are also nice, but they do kind of run a little bit low right there. Mm. This one is made of good material though and has padding. I just don't know what to do about this. I also got another black bathing suit. The bottoms are cute, but the material on this one is not that good and it's kind of itchy. It's very rough, if you can just hear that. And this one doesn't have a clamp or anything, so this one just slides over, which isn't very efficient. The straps also fit kind of strangely, and you can't adjust that. These ones are also in a size small. Most of the sizes I got were in a size small. And these bottoms are very nice. I'm gonna get a really weird tan line. I find that these run really small because these are quite tight. The material also on this is rough and not that comfortable. It is quite showy because it runs kind of low. That's that, but this one is really cute. This one's really pretty pretty but the bottoms are really tight they still fit but they might be hard to take off and on though doesn't have adjustable straps or anything i would recommend lounging with this one or light swimming with this one but even that the material isn't the best but it, it's bearable so this next one is a rib what is it? rib texture keyhole swimsuit and this one is gonna be hard to show sort of like a halter i guess the material on this one is like the previous one this one also has the cheap white material all of these are padded gladly but the strings for this can be confusing to get on and it's nice but the material is not that good and these are what the bottoms also look like they look like they run quite small right around here so you're gonna have to watch out for that this one's also a nice bathing suit with a few of these bathing suits you have to make sure you know what size you're getting and if you're comfortable enough to be wearing these types of bathing suits this one also is quite small in the back so. so this one's cute but the material for this one isn't the best i don't have very much boobage up here to fill up this area um, but it still looks nice but this one is actually kind of confusing to get on with all the straps going on in the back. I'm just holding it because I'm too lazy to tie it. It's a nice halter. It, this might bother you if you're sensitive to like itchy types of material. <coughs> they have my bum a little bit strangely, but they're still, this one's still cute. Okay, I think my sister stole one of my bathing suits. So... These last two are the same size and the same style. This is just a spaghetti strap bikini set. This one is nice material and kind of similar to the first one, except I like that there's not the white padding inside. This one also has a clamp. The bottoms, unfortunately, are quite, they're quite 
thin and the material on the inside is also that white cheap material so this is one of the more showy bathing suits i don't know how confident i would be in actually wearing this this one sits high on your hips some people like those types of bathing suits so that it makes them look taller adjust these straps otherwise they're gonna look a little bit weird the material down here is quite thin so you might want to watch out for that this one might not look too good on my skin complexion this one is also really loose on the waistband right here. There's no white inside lining, so that's nice. But this one is pretty cute. Also got the same one in this purple plum color. It looks a lot more purple in the camera, but it's just a nice deep plum. And this one is the same style as the other one. This one fits better, but I'd want it to kind of be tighter around here. I just be careful on the top with this one. The bottoms on these are not extremely cheeky, but they aren't extremely cheeky, but they do show a little bit. I think it's this one is a nice balance between. Okay, so that last bathing suit, that one was the Cami Palm Leaf Print Bikini. I did try on that one, and that's also, I also got that in size medium as the other red one. Okay, so I did find it. This one is in a size medium. I like having different colored bathing suits because like just black can be boring sometimes. So like the other one does not have much padding right here. And this one also has the white on the other side, but this one doesn't show as much. Unfortunately, doesn't fit. I might sew it maybe. I don't know. Here are the matching bottoms. Again, these are a size medium and these fit better because they're also more of the modest bathing suits. I just wish that this one would fit. Oh, freak. So this one, you can see the padding on it. And this one does not fit at all. Oh, there is so much space in the back. It's very nice. Although these are a medium, they kind of squeeze my butt a little bit, kind of strangely. So these ones, mm, not so much. That was my try on video and my review and opinions on these bathing suits. If you've been wanting them or even wanting to try them, I just say go for it. Just be careful on what your style is and make sure to look on the reviews that Zafool has on their site. Sometimes a lot of the customers will tell you if it runs large or if it runs small. Also be mindful of how the quality is actually going to be considering how much you're paying for it. I hope you guys like this video and I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.